Hey guys, me, I'm Tim Springer, and I um, did my review of Conversion Flashpoint Book 1 and Conversion Flashpoint Book 2. So, and George okay, show. as you saw my intro actually um, about the, the two Conversion books, um, I'm going to review with you Conversion Book 1 and Book 2. And um, now, you're probably thinking, tell me, why aren't you reviewing the main Conversion book? Well, I'll tell you actually. The main convergence book, it sucks. Like, that book is a complete train wreck. Now, and for the tie-ins, which, um, which I'm going to actually talk about, the tie-ins are fantastic. That's why I'm not, I'm not reviewing the main book, because the main book, oh, it's really not that great. So just avoid the main, that main story. Now, after the time themselves, um, Act for 5 point book 1 in Jalati, 5 point, this trade paperback I own, contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, four stories. I mean, 5 stories, 5 stories, um, yeah. Um, basically, this volume contains Superman, Man of Steel, what, about the Batman and Kara of the Flashpoint universe, with the baby, um, who, who, who pregnant. Second story is the question, third story is Judge Agree. Fourth story, Batgirl with 75% of King and Tim Drake. We have to one of my favorite characters. And that we know Um, basically, the story of, of this, this sto story of this book actually, uh, it took place in once there were imminent Earth, then there came a crisis. As there were a flashpoint, world lived, world died. But some words, but not fight for the future. In the conventions. The evil early in time known as Brainiac has stolen 50 Doom City from places throughout time and space and sealed up behind the impenetrable domes. domes. Now, after a year, the domes will come down and the human villain of 50 dead worlds must bow to be the last one standing. That's the way the plot um, of Converge as a whole. But in Converge is basically what DC's big event in 2015 to plead people who won Fan New 52. Now that it's now that it's you remember what's happening in John T, I think it's time for me to review the story. Um out of all your story of book one, my favorite story in this book are the Superman one with um pre fifty two Superman and pre fifty two World Train, which is awesome, which is my Dan Jenkins. That story is amazing, I always shame John because this story tells a great great story how how John Ren Kent from the New Superman books we're getting now, how he's born, and also explain the idea how he, he, uh, and all that the first met him, which is cool. Um, the second story after uh, the question with Renee Montoya, doing for with an X and Emmy by Batwoman, again, Two Face, I actually like that story. That story is very interesting, but it does have a weak ending. Um, the Judge of Greek one with the woman, uh, Supergirl, um, Mela, uh, Vixen, and, um, Jade. That story's okay. It's not that great, but it's not horrible. It's average. The final, the f fourth story, um, uh, Batgirl, with, um, 70 Black Santa Cain and Tim Drake. I love that story. Um, expand it actually with Tim Drake and 70 Black, that's the farming, that's the Kind of a couple. We, that story was so cute. Sure, the all of may not have been great, but you know what? The story we went through was still good. I do like the story. Expect it. If I were Tinder and Seventy Brown and Cassandra Kane, they're great characters. Um, the final story of book one is Nightwing Oracle. Nightwing Oracle is a great, great love story. Expect it. You, you've been. A fan of Oracle and and Nightwing uh, as a couple. Now, here's the thing about about, about this story. Um, Nightwing and Oracle, it's Barbara Gordon Oracle, not New Fifty Two Batgirl. Despite um, despite what, what people may suspect, um, th that story tells the story of how Nightwing and, and Barbara Gordon are about to get married. And it's awesome. Like, oh, I see, we can see. Like Bob McGuire at Oracle, and she kicked out even even when she's paralyzed, which is cool. 
That's right. That's why I like Olga so much. You know, she's such a great badass and great character for Baba that it pains me that they had to take take that away from her to make her walk again. Which don't get me wrong, I meant to like Baba going back back girl. I kind of like her more local, but that's just me. Um, what to talk about? Artwork's great. The lighting is good. Um. For a book one, you know, and, and tying, the tying at the in this book are amazing. Are they all perfect? Are they all great? Well, no, but you know what? The um, book one is a, is a great, great, great story. All all parts are great. Um, what to talk about? How much great my favorite story goes? I don't know. But character 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 doesn't go. All the characters are in character, uh, which is good, and they all act like heroes. I think the new 52 characters, they were, were acting like, well, I hate to say it, jerks. These tie in, they're actually all great because they, they tell the story of how they will deal with the situation and they don't actually go to violence. They do a diplomacy bit. Even when diplomacy failed, they take action, yes, but all about, but all when they're trying to, to survive, which I like. And there are no deaths in the story. I don't want to get too much spoilers. Um, final thoughts. Uh, um, I'm gonna get my final thoughts. Final thoughts on um, conversion flash from book one. Um, if you if you're a fan of the pre bit that you can I think you missed them. I think when you get this book, it's really good. Um, if you're a fan of pre bit two man, pre bit two rain, and the baby, this is a good starting point for for that for the series. Especially for Superman Lords and Clark fans. Oh, by the way, this story does time Superman Lords and Clark. I just wonder what you guys know. Um, final thoughts. I get I get complaining about from book one, eh? A four, a four out of five stars. Why out of five stars? Uh, mostly because you know I love this book. I lo love these stories. It doesn't really affect the main book, but you know what? I didn't care about that. All these mini stories are good stories, and I highly recommend you get this book. Next up, stay tuned for my sec second review on Convergence Book 2. There you go. That's my review of Convergence Falcon Book 1. Um, please don't comment on comment on what you think about this this, this story. Do you like it? Do you it? Also, if you're free to please follow me on Twitter, and please don't subscribe to my channel. Until next point, peace out. Well, I'm going to leave Superman, Lord, and Clark, and all the pre-fighting characters. Bye.